Good morning, this is Ronnie Autry. I just bought my new 2021 Sea Dew. There's like a two month waiting list. I called Louisiana, Mississippi, Florida, and Texas. First one that called me with one, I got it. I bought it in Denham Springs at a place. I'm not too happy with the way they treated me, but they didn't even show me how to work the thing. Thank God for YouTube. A few things that you might want to know about when you buy your Sea Dew. Some things I'll go over that most uh, people have a problem with that I've discovered. The GPS, they have trouble with the GPS. I found out how to solve the problem. And anyway, let me show you what I got. Here's a little overview. Kind of dirty, I ran it before. I've got the stereo system, Bluetooth. It pairs up with your phone very, very easy. On the Garmin GPS, let's go over this one. There are three portals on the back of this GPS. Let me see. Okay, see this? There's three plugs, one for power, the middle one don't do anything the far right is for your trend your gps plug to get your navigation your charge and your sonar and things like that um what happened is that there's a little on the back of your plug there's like a little groove on the power one you make sure the groove lines up with a little plastic plug that's pre-wired make sure it goes in the little groove and push it all the way in that's your power the middle portal skip it the far right portal, there's another little groove on your plug, but the groove is on the side, not the top, of your GPS. Make sure it's turned to the right. Plug it all the way in. Problem solved. They didn't tell you how to flush it. It's unlike a boat. It's got a radiator-cooled system, not like a boat. So you do plug it in. You plug your water in right there. There's no, there's no instructions, but here's, here's what I discovered from, the, from a dealer who's a high-tech guru guy. He knows what he's talking about. You start the engine, then you hook the water up. You let it run about a minute and a half. You goose it a couple times. Then you take the water out, unhook the hose, continue running the machine. Give it some gas, woo, 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 to shoot the excess water out. Then you turn the engine off. That's how you do it. The transducer, on a boat, typically the transducer is physically, you can see the transducer mounted under the boat. This one is, you can't see it because the transducer is mounted inside the hull. Did a lot of research but anyway the speakers sound bad a lot of bass good treble they're very loud you can hear it while you're driving it's super cool and uh anyway i love it uh i tested it out i've been dri driving it it goes honestly i went i counted it i went zero to 52 miles an hour in 5.5 seconds it hauls <laughs> it's really cool but anyway it's got tilt steering on it of course this is to flush the, if you go into a shallow area, you want to flush the junk out, hit that button. This is cruise control. You can set the, this trims it up or trims it down. The, the back of the engine to go faster or slow. Different modes. Speed mode goes super fast. And then there's the eco mode. And you can put it on troll. You can troll different speeds. But I, I really like it. I enjoy it. Um, the only problem I have is when you want to anchor somewhere and the wind's blowing. Where do you anchor it at? Right here? I'd like to anchor it right on the front, but then it seems like a pull around to get it however i found that there's an anchor with a float on it anyway I, when i get ready to, to drive off i kind of just start the engine and drive up and then grab the anchor rope and pull it on in because you can't just it's hard to reach over the top to get your anchor if you want to anchor it in the front and these little bitty cheesy anchors you buy that come in a little packet like they sell for canoes they don't hold believe me i mean there's a lot of wind out there especially in, in you know five six eight ten twelve fifteen feet deep you need an anchor especially if the wind's blowing and those little canoe anchors they have the little gold looking ones that then they fold up and a little coupling comes over it those don't work <laughs> but uh anyway i've given 50 miles an hour i've driven down the road the fishing rods never fall out um be sure and wear gloves because you'll get blisters on your fingers and on your ankle your foot if you don't wear socks so wear some